I've not really tried this before on one of these, but see, I just have a little wire here. I might have got it from a paper clip or something and then fashioned it into something else. I used to use this for other things, pulling chains on ceiling fans that were caught in low or medium and wanting to get it on high. If somebody broke the chain off, I'd fish this up in there and pull down on it. And that seemed to work pretty good. I thought maybe there might be a bug in there or some dirt in there, but it seems it seems okay. It might just be old and tired and time to be replaced. But I'm going to go ahead just for kicks and let's see here if I can get this out of the out of the sun. Even if I have to cut it again to get it off, to put on a new one, I can. Okay. I'm going to run back up there and turn that back on and see what happens. Be right back. Okay, I've turned the water back on. I'm just waiting for the air to get out of the lines. To see that these are working okay. Okay, that one's that one's underneath there. So that's another thing I'll need to do is dig that out because I want to get the bubbler up above the ground. I'm looking at this one here. This is the one I cleaned out. See, it's go it's going. It doesn't seem to be going. Well, any worse, I guess, than the others. See, this one's hardly going at all either. That tells me I probably need to change that out. And it's just going to be a little bit of a trial and error on which bubblers I'm going to use. See, I'm just going to look at these. That must be two. I don't know if these are two gallon per hour or not. They could be one gallon per hour for all I know. But they almost look like they're coming out about the same as the one that we just replaced. They're just added into this plant here. Let's just take a quick look at this and see. Uh. In fact, that looks just a little bit slower, and I'm fine with I'm fine with that for this for this plant. Okay, but as for the trees, I might want to go back to the store and get some two gallon per hour. Let's say, and in a pinch, if I wanted to, I could leave that one, and I could put a one gallon per hour on that with the ones I got because I got ten of them. And remember these teas. I got some teas here. This tea, if I put it on just one, you see the, those teas there? Follow me there. If you didn't have any two gallon per hour and you wanted to use two one gallon per hour, you could put the tea on there. You put that on there and then cut two little pieces of. of uh, quarter inch pipe and then you could put the one gallon per hour on there and you'd have one uh, one gallon per hour dripper and another one gallon per hour dripper if you didn't have any two gallon you see there's different things that you can do on your drip irrigation don't be afraid of it you know since we're right here let's just see Let's just see what I can find down in this one here. Because I really don't want it below the ground like that. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm gonna put my gloves back on. I don't like get my glove, my hands all muddy. Might have to. Oh, there it is, right there. See. Get these underneath the ground like that and what happens over time is they have a tendency of wanting to get plugged up with the mud or or bugs or whatever because see I can tell it's not really going very fast is it at least I got it up beyond the level of the ground now and I'm just going to, I'm going to end up checking out all of my drip back here and then make, make determinations later on whether or not I need to change some of these. I mean, that, that amount of water that's coming out of there is probably fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that on my own. But see that that's actually probably might be enough. But for sure, one gallon per hour for shrubs of this size. Maybe this size in a pinch, like this. Obviously, if you can have a big tree, that's a weeping cherry tree, I think it is. What was that one over there? You could probably put two gallon drips there. If you got any questions about anything, whether or not you should use half, half gallon per hour bubblers, one gallon per hour, two gallon per hour, you can ask your local hardware store and they should be able to give you a fairly good idea what's, what they would do. I see I'm looking over here and there's nothing here. This one is coming out just a little, and it's like a plant used to be over here, and then somebody went ahead and put one of those caps on the end, and it's dripping a little bit. I could probably reroute that and leave that and let it come over here. So I'll check them all, and see that's, that's kind of a good way to, to locate those in a bush, kind of let it go up so it never gets covered, especially if you got bark or rocks or decomposed granite or something like that around your bush. This will keep it up out of the bush. Okay. See? So I'm not sure where this stops. I've got a number five dripper and a number six dripper on the, on the uh, sprinkler box. And so I'll just have to see where where it stops. I thought it might stop back in here somewhere. But see, there's, there's a little bit of water there, so I know the drip goes at least to here. So I'd like to check out all these, especially if you see something that's dead. We just moved in here a while ago, and everything seems pretty green. See, they probably had another bush like that. Over here, it ended up dying instead of replanting a new one they just had the drip coming out here they put a cap on it that doesn't look very nice does it but they probably did that thinking okay well whoever's gonna come here in the future they'll know exactly where that is and then if we do plant something here we know exactly where the drip is and that they didn't cover it too badly and we can use that and I can dig out the dirt a little bit and re redirect this. See, here's another one that's capped off right here. There's one. That's hot. That one's hardly coming up at all. And see, it's on the downhill side, so so this tree only gets the water from here. Yeah. I might I might relocate that or not. I might put it up on the in the middle, or I can put a I can make a little trough here, something like that, to contain the water. Because see, all this water down here is not doing anything. Sorry, Joe. Sorry. 
Hello there. Yeah. I, I got water over to your plant now. Oh, there. Thank you, baby. And I fixed the other, the tree over there that didn't have any water. Oh, got water on that now. And I was just kind of checking things out. What are you doing? Um, I came over here to tell you that I have to go to the post office and mail something in my immediately. Oh, yes. Oh, but before you do that... Gonna, but since I was walking down here looking for you, I'm going to take... I'm going to oh, my birds. She's got some bird... We put up some... Some bird houses. And she's got some bird seed here. And she's going to put some in. Here's, here's one here. There's still lots of seed here. This stuff here... You ever seen this before? This is suet. You put that in there and then the birds peck on that. She saw some woodpeckers out here the other day. Oh, this one's empty. Yeah, this one's empty. See, some of the birds like particular ones. Here, here's a type. This is for small little, like, finches. We haven't really seen too many. We're hoping, we're hoping to see some eventually come in and we've got some uh, up there that's for the hummers hummingbirds we've seen a couple here so far and that's about it yeah we have hummingbirds we have um Stellar so it, jays. Oh, stellar, yeah, stellar jays. Stellar They're kind of like blue jays. And um, woodpeckers. And they've been coming, and, and, and the a few woodpeckers. Coming. So, anyways. So I'm running off to the post. Okay, office. and you sure you haven't paid that before? Yes. Okay. Well, can you take me off the? Okay. Bye bye. I wanted to talk to you about it. Oh. Okay. Well, that's all I got, I think, for now.